Toronto. I'm Marcy Marcusa, and this is Information Radio, live in downtown Winnipeg on 89.3 FM, 9.90 AM, or on your CBC Listen app. It is minus three and some light snow falling, and I would say that this morning, in this morning, some good news when it comes to uh, the way the storm is looking, although we still have a lot of uh, a cautious day ahead of us today in Manitoba. So Heather in in a moment to tell us where things are tracking and what has uh, changed overnight. Uh, Pat Canuda is here this morning as well. He's our show director and covers weather and traffic on air. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Daddy Addy Emmy, our technical producer who's behind the controls. And now let's go to Heather Rawls at 3 minutes to 6 to find out the latest about the storm. Good morning. Good morning, yes. And uh, the winter storm warning does continue for winter and for southeast Manitoba. But that blizzard warning in uh, southwest Manitoba has been downgraded to a winter storm warning. Environment Canada is saying now we across the province will likely see around 5, maybe 10 more centimeters of snow today. And it's all going to begin tapering off late today into tomorrow. Uh, Manitoba Infrastructure and Transportation this morning says major highways remain closed, including the Trans-Canada and the Yellowhead. And once again, it is a snow day for Winnipeg schools and in many rural school divisions. So we'll give you the latest as it progresses, but yes, it does seem like the snow at least is starting to ease somewhat, but we'll see if that storm uh, does a little bit of a, a turn and gets worse again. So that all is uh, up in the air, but we'll have the latest for you throughout the morning right here on Information Radio. <laughs> Do you ever think we'd be happy about saying, oh, five to ten centimeters, winter storm? Good yeah, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Heather. You're welcome. So as Heather said, we'll be uh, cautiously optimistic and watch this uh, throughout the day for you. Uh, on the program this morning, we will be talking storm. In fact, we're going to open the phone lines at 7.45 this morning uh, to hear how the last 24 hours were for you. Of course, we knew there were some uh, very uh, stressful times and moments as that snow moved in so quickly, 5 centimeters an hour early yesterday morning. Southwest Manitoba getting hammered in spots. So we'll open the phone lines. Who helped you? What did you see or not see? What are conditions like for you out your way this morning as you continue to watch for the uh, winter storm? Uh, warning. So uh, we will uh, have that for you later. Open the phone lines. City Winnipeg is going to be on to talk about cleanup and how things are going. And then we'll talk about the interest rate hike in the first hour of the show that was announced yesterday from the Bank of Canada. Stay tuned. Today on Q, the actor Allison Breen got her first big break on the show's Mad Men and Community. 